welcome to the Everything OneNote Student Guide to a Class Notebook. So today I'm going to talk specifically about the Mac version of OneNote. I'm going to give you a bit of an overview on how a class notebook works for you as a student. So if you're new to OneNote or using a class notebook in general, <clears throat> a class notebook is a digital notebook for the whole class to store text, images, handwritten notes, attachments, links, voice, videos, and heaps more. So there's some really cool things you can do as a student in OneNote. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the welcome page. You can see this is where we are over here on the left, and I'm on this welcome page. Now, your teacher may choose to personalize this page. As you can see, I've added some bitmojis down the bottom. They may choose to leave it as is, but they might maybe set it up as a bit of an outlook or a content page for what is coming up in the unit or semester or the year. The first section I'm going to talk about is the collaboration space. I'm going to talk about that first because it's the first one that pops up over here on the left. The collaboration space is a place where everyone in your class can share, organize, and collaborate. So the teacher can add pages in there where you guys can all type into the same space at the same time. So it can get pretty crazy, but the teacher can also set up some private sections for groups where you guys in groups of two, three, or four can work together to achieve a question or an assignment or a project. The second one is the content library. Now the teacher will set the content library up in all different ways. So it's over here on the left. It's essentially the teacher's private section where they can share work with you, but it is read only for you as a student. So that means you can still scroll through the pages. You can click on links, you can watch videos, you can interact with the page, but you don't have any edit access. So if you're trying to answer a question and it's not working, it won't let you type, there's a good chance you're in the content library and you need to move down to your private section, which I'll talk about in a minute. Every student has their own private section. You can see over here we have student one. Now in your class notebook, this would be your name and you would only see your name. So you're not gonna see any other students work or their private notebooks. The teacher other on the other hand has access to every student's notebook. So they're gonna see student one, student two, etc. down there which is a lot of power for the teacher, but it's a really good opportunity for them to be able to see what you're doing and provide the support and feedback that they maybe need to help you with your learning. The other thing is they can also see what you're not doing. So it's a really easy way for the teachers to track your work. Now, that is just a quick overview of the class notebook. So we've talked about the collaboration space, the content library, and the private student sections. And I'm gonna go into some of the different features of OneNote in more detail in some of the other videos.